So I did that for a couple of weeks. And later on, I decided also to start going to the library. The library, which was just next to the primary school that I just graduated from, I decided to go there to read a book apart from copying notes from my friends. At that time, I was reading textbooks that they were using in school. Later on, I got very interested in two leading science books. Some of the books that I was able to find was this book uh, called Explaining Physics. Even though this book was high match level than the level that I was, and I couldn't speak English that well, I was using pictures and the diagrams to learn the words around it. Sometimes I ask the librarian, could you please explain what this word means? Some of it, we had a direct translation into my language. Some we didn't. So I was using imagination and trying to interpret some of these diagrams and pictures to be able to learn and understand. One day, when I went to the library, I found this book called Using Energy. When I opened this side, they say windmills could pump water and generate electricity. The word pump water attracted my attention. I said, if I can build a windmill to pump water, I can start irrigation, growing food two to three times a year instead of only one time during the rain season. I thought that was its solution towards the problem that we are facing at that time. So I decided to build the windmill. But the challenge was that I didn't have money to buy materials that I needed for my windmill. And the book didn't say what type of materials you need to use in order for you to build the windmill. So what I ended up doing, I ended up going to the junkyard, which was just next to the high school that I just dropped from. Before this high school was a high school, it used to be a garage by a company. A company that was operating that garage, when they learned out of business, they donated to the Ministry of Education and turned that place into a school. So I was going there to, to pick up parts that I needed for my windmill. When I was doing that, a lot of people were laughing at me. They thought that I was going crazy. I remember even my mother, she was very worried of me. She said, you are no longer going to find a wife because, <laughs> because no one wants to marry a crazy man. <laughs> Regardless of what people are saying, I didn't stop going to the junkyard. I continued. So at the junkyard, I was able to find some parts that I needed for my windmill. I was able to find shock, um, a tractor fan that I used as the main center loader of my windmill. For the, for the shaft of my windmill, I was able to find shock absorber and PVC pipes that I found I used as the many blades of my windmill. I cut them straight and I stretched them on the fire to make them flat on the back of which I reinforced with bamboo stick so that they don't bend when the wind is blowing. 